Thanks to the work of the Motorcycle Council, we've got some really useful stats on motorcycle accidents in New South Wales. We're going to sort through the numbers and find the most common problems, the ones that we all want to avoid. If you ride motorcycles, you are definitely going to want to watch this. In New South Wales, we have 200,000 road registered motorcycles. The average rider age is 43. There's around 2,500 motorcycle crashes each year. Each week in New South Wales, one rider dies and about 45 riders need hospital treatment. So, how and where do these crashes occur? Okay, there's three main categories. Rider crashes solo, 42%. Rider hits another vehicle, 23%. Rider is hit by another vehicle, 35%. Yep, 65% of recorded accidents are the rider's fault. Let's look at the biggest dangers. Half of all rider pillion fatalities in New South Wales occur on bends. That includes head-ons and hitting hard scenery. In 70% of crashes on bends, there is no other vehicle involved at all. 84% of those crashes were assessed as involving too much speed. Rear-enders account for 30% of crashes where the rider is at fault. Cars with ABS will outbreak two wheels every time. Always keep your distance from the car in front. Intersections account for about one-third of all fatalities. Most of the fault of the other driver. Never rush an intersection. Give them a chance to see you amongst the other tall vehicles. Be ready to stop. Cars changing lanes cause around 15% of crashes. Drivers coming out of driveways or petrol stations cause around 7% of crashes. Vehicles making a U-turn make up another 5% of crashes, and these are usually nasty ones. In all these situations, the bike was either in their blind spot or they didn't even look. These are known as Smidsey crashes. 30% of all crashes involved something wrong on the road. Gravel, sand, potholes, just keep scanning and be ready to stop. Drink and drugs, a no-brainer, but in 20% of all fatal motorcycle crashes, the rider was wasted. Bikes and drugs don't mix. And finally, rider fatigue. Again, it's a factor in 20% of all fatal crashes. Getting out at the weekend for a ride is a great pleasure, but New South Wales is a big state and it's easy to overdo it. More than a third of all crashes Half the fatalities and 40% of all single rider crashes happen to the weekend warrior. And the most common crash time is between 2pm and dusk on Sunday afternoons returning from a ride. Well now you know the most dangerous situations for riders in New South Wales. The other videos will help show you how to manage them. A good rider is a good risk manager. Know the risks, then use good judgement. And remember, it's not a dress rehearsal.